Hi everyone, I'm Stephen and welcome to Audio Nautica. Today I want to show you this AirHard Audio Ella preamplifier. I'm going to take you through, show you what this preamplifier is. I'm going to do some THD tests on it and I'm going to do a teardown on it to see what's inside. Um, I've had this amplifier for about four years I think. Um, I purchased this from AirHard Audio directly. Um, to be a preamp to go with my um, VTA ST120. So there'll be a link on the screen to the video I made about the VTA ST120. But a, um, an audio guru who I really trust, um, he assured me that to get the best performance out of my um, power amp, that I wanted a good valve preamp. Um, I needed a phono preamp because I didn't have one. Um, technically, I didn't need a a preamp as such um, because my sources you know you can adjust the levels on them but this guru um, assured me that it would be a really good thing to have so I looked around for what I was looking for was something that it was a preamp and a um, phono preamp all in one and um, I liked the idea of a kit because I had built the ST120 as a kit. This is not a kit. I didn't find a kit that I liked. I found kits for phono preamps and I found kits for preamps, but I didn't find a kit that had both in one and I really wanted to have both functionality in the one device. So I found um, Holger is the name of the gentleman, Holger Scharschmidt, and um, he builds all of these himself. So they're, they're, they're not mass produced, they're made in the USA. It doesn't look like he makes the Ella any longer, um, but there is another preamp that he makes that looks very, very nice. And the thing about um, Holger's um, preamps is that he will adjust them to suit you. So you might be looking at this and thinking, well, this is a bit weird. It's got the, the connectors are on the front. Well, that's because I told him that I wanted them on the front um, because I hate rummaging around at the back of gear, not being able to see, not being able to work out which connector is which to get cables plugged in. So I asked for the connectors to be put on the front. Um, also, I, I could specify with him how many inputs I wanted. So I said, I want two line inputs and one phono. So that's what he did for me. Um, so the layout of the front panel, he's customized that for me. And he'll also even customize the layout of the top. I was happy with standard. Um, for the valve locations and so you get this nice little um, manual that comes with it and he's even customized the manual to match my preamp. So basically to, to show you um, the functionality, um, as I mentioned it's got two line inputs and a phono input. Now, on, on his preamps, the phono stage is an option. So I could have got this without a phono stage. Here are the valves here for the phono stage here. And then we've got these uh, six SN7 GTBs they are, four of them here for the preamp stage. So then, of course, we have our input selection. I've only got three inputs, so that's how many positions there are on that switch. Volume control. Uh, it feels really fantastic. We'll find out what's inside it when we get it apart. Balance, and you will note that there are no tone controls. And if we turn it around and have a look at the back, not surprisingly, there's not much on this one. Um, voltage input is selectable. Um, standard IEC fused connector, so that's really, really nice. Um, handcrafted in Tucson, Arizona, USA. So, um, serial number 181004. So I'm assuming that means this is the fourth one of these that he made in 2018, which that'll be about when I got it. Um, you notice the lovely, the lovely, lovely timber chassis. Um, he'll make the wood stain the wood the colour that you specify. So I just picked that off a a color chart that he so sent me and this looks like this plate looks like it's aluminium um, so beautifully beautifully constructed um, the transformer cover up the top there 
So that's about all there is to see on the outside. So let's do some THD tests now and see just how this thing performs. Okay guys, so we've just done some THD testing on this using the old Keithley. So um, just being consistent with the way that I'm testing all the other devices. So um, 500 hertz, this is a preamp, so 0.5 volt peak to peak is what I'm using to test that. And um, so second harmonic only, 0.015%, which is pretty good actually for a, for a valve device. Um, and then taking into account all of the harmonics, 0.028, which again I think is pretty good. Um, that's fairly comparable to quite a few other um, devices that I measured. Um, it's as good as the it's as good as the NAD 3120 as used as an amp. It's not too far off the NAD 3120 preamp. Um, so, yeah, that's, I'm quite happy with that. I mean, of course, you know, you'd, I don't think you'd be able to hear with your ears anyway. It's all so low. But, um, yeah, so those are the results we get for that. So, yeah, I've been using this preamplifier for a few years. I quite like it. I like its simplicity. Um, in terms of how it sounds, I think it sounds the way that a, a preamp should sound in that a preamp should not colour the music. If a preamp is colouring the music, then it's not doing its job. A preamp is supposed to be ideally a uh, wire with gain. So it shouldn't do anything except add gain. So, um, yeah, I can't hear any coloration as such with this, with this preamplifier. I've been very happy with it. I think it was about 2000 Australian dollars to get it here. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for something like this, I'd thoroughly recommend going and having a look at um, a Holger's site. But anyway, having said all of that, without any further ado, I'm going to let these tubes cool down and then we're going to have a look inside this because I've never taken the covers off this unit and I'll be very interested to see what the build quality is like when we have a look inside and see how it's built. Incidentally, I believe that the design is based on the um, Aikido design, which I believe is a, a pretty popular um, valve preamp design. I mean, some people live and breathe this kind of stuff all the time. Um, I'm not one of those people. My interests are a bit broader. But um, yeah, if you're interested, I believe that's, that's the basis of the design. So let's get these covers off and have a look inside. Okay, here we are on the bottom side and you can actually see these beautiful timber feet. It looks like the bottom part is cork, I think. Um, yeah, these beautiful stained timber feet that Holger has made. So anyway, let's start pulling these screws out and while I do this is a good time to mention to you that if you want to support my channel the best way that you can do that is subscribe so if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to my channel also I'm on Instagram the handle is audio Nordica vids and I've also got a patreon going so you can help to support me make more content like this over at patreon that's www.patreon.com forward slash Audio Nautica, all one word. So, as you can see, I have never had the bottom off of this. So, we'll be seeing for the first time what this is like together. Let's just hope it's not a real big disappointment. I'm sure it won't be. But it's always a little bit dangerous when you haven't had a little peek beforehand um, before going to the camera. Okay, now there's a little screw just here. I'm going to assume that that's yeah, probably an earth or something. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh wow. 
Look at that. Can you see what I can see? Look at this, look at this copper. This copper shielding. That is just really, really lovely. Good on you, Holga, wonderful. And, and have a look at this. Let's turn it around so you can see it. It's not just for looks, see? It's actually, it's actually connected. It's connected directly to, that's the, yeah, that lug is right on the front panel. And um, yeah, I can't see that lug coming through the front. So he's got like a, a tapped stud there for that little, I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. This stud that this is screwed onto doesn't come through the front. So he's got a tap stud. Um, nice gold plated connectors, don't they look good? We'll just keep working our way down the front. Look at those. Alps, Japan. So those are um, our rotary pots for um, for volume control and for balance and then the one up the top will be for input selection so that just looks really really lovely and then we're looking at panels we might as well have a look at the rear panel there's our IEC power input I can't actually see possibly if I turn it I might be able to see what no I thought I might be able to see what brand it is but that's okay doesn't matter So we'll just turn her around here. And so here is our here is our main preamp board. And um, yeah, isn't that lovely? So you can see this is his own printed circuit board. I mean you know, you'd be kind of annoyed if you open this thing up and you found a couple of boards from China in it. I mean, there's all sorts of um, valve preamp boards from China, but no, you can see this is his board, Ella Line Preamp. I know it's upside down, but I'm sure you can read it just as well as I can. Ella Line Preamp version one, airhoudaudio.com. You know, obviously someone who really takes pride in his work. Um, so we can see that we've got high quality capacitors. So we've got Nichicons. And then we can see over here, these look like Nichicon fine golds. Just can't quite tell, but they yeah, 68,000 mic 16 volt is what they are. I think they're fine golds anyway. And then look at these Mondorf M cap EVO aluminium. 0.22 mic, 450 volt DC. Lovely. And you know, the other thing that is, is really 
quite impressive about this thing as well is that it's all his own power supply as well. So again, you know, you'd be kind of annoyed if, you know, even if he had this part here as his own design, which he has, which is great, but you'd be kind of annoyed if you found slung in here some, you know, Chinese circuit board, or even worse, some Chinese switch mode power supply. You know, the, the whole thing is his, which is just really, really fantastic. So it looks like um, linear power supply, as one would expect, as one would want in something like this. Don't really want something switching away. And then you can see here we've got um, Weimer. That one's an MKS. I just can't quite see what the other ones are, but you know, it, it really looks like it is all top quality stuff, which is really, really fantastic. And then if we just have a little bit of a look up here, we come to the, this is the phono board. And again, that really looks like it's the real deal. Again, it's it's his board. Um, Aretha slash Ella Phono board version one. And again, we can see that it's got high quality components on it. So that is just really, really fantastic. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm blown away because I just, I mean, I thought that what I would find in here would be good, but this is just really stunning. And, and what is stunning is that, you know, um, I think this thing was, I think it was 1350 US. So by the time you pay, you turn that into Australian dollars and you pay freight to get it here, it was about $2,000 Australian. I mean, what do you think you would get in terms of a mass-produced um, pre-amplifier for $1,350 US? Would you find one that was made in the US, that was mass-produced in the US, that was any good? No way. I don't think you'd find one that was made in the US at all. Not mass-produced anyway. Um, for anything like that kind of price. So... You know, I just think that this thing is incredible value for money. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very pleased. This, this is exactly what I wanted it to be. It, it really is a, the perfect match for my power amplifier. So, yeah, I absolutely recommend. Go and have a look at um, Airhard Audio's website. They don't make this model anymore, but um, there is... An, another preamplifier there, which looks very, very nice. It's a bit more expensive, um, but if it's better than this one, then it must be absolutely fantastic. And yeah, I hope that you've really enjoyed coming along with me and, and having a look inside this gorgeous Airhard Audio Ella preamplifier. If you have, please give me a like. I'd love to read your comments as to what you think about this amplifier down below. And once again, um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And do check out my video on the VTA ST120 amplifier that I twin this preamplifier with. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.